So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video was a little bit unplanned, um, but I got a box in the post today, which was quite exciting. So the guys over at Skybound sent me, I believe this is a mystery box, but I will know more about it when I open it. How do I know which is the top and which is the bottom? I don't know, let's just fucking cut into it and see. Have I ever done an unboxing on my channel? I don't think I have, but I am so fucking excited. But yeah, just to be clear, I didn't buy this, this was sent to me, but all opinions are my own. Isn't that what all the cool kids say when they do unboxing videos? I wouldn't know. <laughs> this is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Can you please just open? <laughs> oh, my scissors matches my outfit. That wasn't planned. Okay. So, I tried to clear off my table and make a bit of room, but I don't think it worked a whole lot. All right, we got bubble wrap. <laughs> bubble wrap that doesn't pop. Disappointed. Oh shit, did I open it upside down? Okay, no, I don't think I did. So, inside the box, we have another box. We got a box inside a box. What's in the box? Also, I'm sorry. Oh fuck me, this is heavy. Ugh. <laughs> my weak spaghetti arms cannot handle it. So this is what it looks like. Oh my god, I am excited. I'm so excited right now. I love boxes. Um, yeah, I have my window open at the moment because it is hotter than Satan's ball sack where I live right now. It's like 24 degrees Celsius, which I'm aware those of you who live in certain parts of the States, you're used to like actual like, you know, trees catching fire kind of heat. We're not used to that here, okay? So it's very hot. Oh my god, there <laughs> guys, there's so many flaps here. Can I even show you how many flaps there is in this box? Okay, you have the first flap, then you have the second one, then you have the third one, then you have the fourth one, and then the fifth. They are really wrapping the- Woo! Oh, never mind the flaps. Oh my goodness. There's so much shit in here. Oh my god. Well, first of all, this sticker. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of stuff in here. What the fuck? So first up, we have a kingdom patch, which makes my heart smile. What fell out of the box a second ago? No way! Guys, guys, this is like a box of fucking, or a bag. This is like a bag of um pins, which is really weird because I decided like two days ago I'm going to start collecting pins and I ordered a bunch of Disney pins from online. <laughs> What's in here? I realize I'm doing all of this off screen. I'm sorry, but like I can't much test that well. Pin number one. Pin number two. Pin number three. Pin number four. With a little bit of a glare. Sorry. Oh, we got a cute little badge. Oh my God, what is this? Look at this little doo. And a pick. I think this is a guitar pick. She a very small pick. We love her anyway. Oh my God. Oh, I like, I'm about to fucking cry. I've been having like the week from hell lately, lately, this week. It's Monday. It's Monday and I'm having the week from hell. So what does that say about me? We have this sick fucking Abraham figure. Oh my God. I'm like sitting here straight up about the fucking, I don't even know. Woo. Fucking bitching. We got a skybound laminate, which I will use because I am always losing my keys. I can't even tell you guys how often I lose my keys. We have another patch. I think this is an iron-on patch. I can tell by the back. I have, um, for Christmas, just gone, Christmas of last year, I made a school bag for my brother. I'll post a picture in screen here if I can. Yeah, I made a bag for my brother for school where I ironed on and sewed on a bunch of patches, like a bunch of band patches and stuff for him. And since then, I've kind of gone really crazy into patches, particularly the iron-on ones, because I think they look fucking sick when they're on either a jacket or a bag. No! What is this? Outcast cards? Do you guys remember back, I used to do, um, oh my god, that looks so vintage and old. That looks like something from the 80s or 90s, that is sick. Do you guys remember, I used to do reactions to Out Outcast, because like, oh my god, that show was fucking, ah, that is so fucking cool. I actually, oh, can't get over them, I used to love Outcast. Oh, we have little mini mates, Walking Dead, Carl Grimes and Burning Zombie. Oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna need another fucking bookcase for the amount of stuff here. Can I, like, where am I? I'm gonna stack them. I'm gonna pop these back in so I don't lose them. Today feels like a mini Christmas. But yeah, I've been having, like, a really kind of... I don't know, I'm going through waves of it, I guess, like everyone else is. I'm going through waves of being totally fine and then bursting into tears for no reason. So, we're kind of feeling like bursting into tears today, but in a good way, you know? 
Right, next. Oh my god, Savior. <gasps> Savior's keychain. <laughs> so, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Okay. This is what the cool bitches do, right? The beauty gurus, they're like, oh, look at this. Boom. And we flip around. And then it turns back again. Stop doing that, please. <laughs> You're being a bitch and you know it. It says walking dead on the back. There's a bird outside that sounds like he's dying. Dude, what the fuck is this box? I cannot get over this. Okay. Here we have Sherrick Rick Grimes who came in the Mega Box. I think he was a Mega Box variant. What is this box? He's fucking sick. I actually have a bunch of figures. I'll show you guys my background in a minute because I'm in the middle of tidying stuff up. I'll show you the background in a minute, okay? Um, and oh, wow. She is fucking bitching. Holy shit, look at her. Um, Invincible, that's the comic, right? There's a comic Invincible and I think it's being made into a show as well, unless I'm mistaken. She would make me want to read the comics or watch the show, whatever it is, because she is so fucking cool. I love pink. She is exactly my style. She is so pretty. Comes with like really cool detachable hands. Different gloves for every mood you may have. But yeah, I've been redoing my background and that's why the sheet is there. And I had people say that in the reaction I did, um, the last few videos I did, I know I had a sheet up. Lads, I'm not even half her through the box. Oh, what is that? <gasps> oh my God. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her and I'm not even being dramatic. Her death was one of the worst ever. Okay, it sucked because it was sad and it sucked because it made Zeke cry. We don't like that. Oh my god I don't think I'm gonna take her out the box. I think I'll leave her in the box We got super dinosaur bandages or as we call them where I'm from plasters in a very cute little box. Oh My god, Sid we got Sydney from Outcast. Dude, this is fucking sick We got these two sexy beasts we have an invincible comic. Something just fell in the box. <laughs> the world's most legendary fighting franchise is now your super fight card. Use these cards. I should have showed them first. <laughs> Use these cards on their own or with any of the super fight decks to bring classics like Ru, Chen Li, and M. B. Sun off screen and onto the table for the most epic battles you've ever argued about. Street Fighter. Oh my god. Street Fighter cards. These are gonna get used tonight. Uh, I love playing games like that with my family, believe it or not. We do play games like that, but we do all end up in severe arguments. Don't even get me started on Monopoly. Oh my god, Super Fight the Walking Dead deck! Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, there's gonna be war in this house tonight. The Walking Dead uh, is an expansion to Super Fight that adds 100 cards inspired by Robert Kirkman's hit comic book series. Reading is very hard today for some reason. All of your favorite survivors and villains are here along with our darkest set of attributes. Yes, do not shuffle dead inside. I like that. That's fun. We have something. Oh, bl oh, blood. I thought that said Budweiser. Bloodweiser on the back says redneck is TM Skybound. Trademark Skybound. What is this? Curiosity is the better of me. I'm gonna open it. I thought it was a whoopee cushion, but I don't think that's what it is. Am I just like really fucking stupid that I don't know what this is? <laughs> is it a glove? <laughs> Got hand sanitizer in front of me. We'll just whoop. It's like a glove for your hand sanitizer. <laughs> Next, there is a little mouse pad. Um, which, yes, I'm gonna use because currently I am using this mouse pad, which is super, super, super old. I think I got it like three or four years ago. And um, there's bits missing out of it and stuff. So I was in need of one and I love the color scheme and this is just fucking sick. Next we... What the fuck? Oh my God, okay. Okay, so I don't know a whole lot about comics, okay? But, first of all, I know this is a big deal because it's in one of these special fucking glass box things this is issue 100 this is the first appearance of Negan and Lucille and the death of Glenn but it's um certified which means it's in like pristine condition right and this is the mega box exclusive so I did receive the mega box back when this um first came out and I kept it because I was so excited to get an exclusive that I was like oh my god and I have it backboarded and wrapped but this this is something else oh my goodness this is fucking special we have Thick of Thieves volume 2 in a fun little um, hardback, it's still wrapped. I don't think I'll unwrap this. I might leave this as is. That is a big ass poster. Oh my god, and another little fucking pin. I have, I've decided, I don't know why I've decided to start collecting pins, but I did. So that box was incredibly fucking awesome. Thank you guys. Um, to the guys over at Skybound, thank you so much. That was one hell of a fucking mystery box. Like, oh my god, I cannot even. The amount of stuff in that was just insane. 
Um, I will link Skybone's website down below with all the kind of information that you may need to find. I think this box is on their site. So yeah, I will link the site down below with all of the relevant information that you guys may need. Um, today did feel like a mini Christmas and it was just absolutely, yeah, I can't, I can't get over this. I'm just looking at this like, what the fuck? <laughs> this, this, uh, mystery box, I have watched a lot of mystery boxes before and this one, there just seemed to be a whole, whole lot of stuff, like, a lot of fucking stuff in this. Easily one of the best mystery boxes that I've seen, being honest. This box, it was so well packed, it was like, stockpiled with stuff. I still can't believe they managed to fit all of this into one little box. I will probably like put everything together, take a picture and put it on screen just to show you guys the sheer volume of stuff in this box. So yeah, absolutely incredible box, jam packed with stuff. Today, well, I've said it like three or four times already, I know, but it felt like a mini Christmas. My brass trap is trying to come out to say hello. Please stop that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. And again, thank you to the guys at Skybound for sending this over. If you guys would like to see more content from Misha, my, I don't know why I said that, because to any of you guys who aren't Irish, it just sounds like if you want more content from Misha, Misha is Irish for me. Anyway, if you guys want to see more content from me, the link to my Patreon is down below, where I do reactions to a whole bunch of shows, movies, games. Um, recently, I've started up reactions to The Umbrella Academy Season 2 and Teen Wolf, but there's also kind of oldies, like currently there's Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, and with an E, uh, The 100. Lucifer, Westworld, Doctor Who. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, the link to that's down below if you want to check it out. Again, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you're all doing okay. And that we're all, we're getting through it. We are getting through this hell bitch over here. Slowly but surely. But yeah, thank you guys. And I'll talk to you all soon.